Hey everybody, Ashton here again with Incense with another fragrance review. So today we're going to be taking a look at Amouage Memoir Man. We're going to check out the presentation like normal, then jump into the fragrance itself. Did just want to let you guys know that Euro Perfumes, which is a company that I mentioned in some of my earlier videos, so if you've watched a lot of my videos you may be familiar with that, they had actually sent me the Bracken Man um, Amouage bottle to test out before. They got in touch with me and they have a coupon code set up for their website. The coupon code is 15GS, which will give you 15% off any purchase that you make there, excluding samples, I believe. And they also have free shipping within the US for anything over $30. So I'll leave a link in the description with that coupon code and the website. So if you're looking for any niche fragrances, maybe check that website out and see what they've got there. See if they have what you're looking for and then take advantage of that coupon code. All right, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. You have the name of the house and fragrance on the front. And this looks like uh, brush strokes, actually, uh, with differing shades of black and gray. You can see there. That wraps around each side and the back. And then on the top, it says Eau de Parfum Man. On the bottom, you have ingredient information, and your batch code is here. The bottle itself looks like the other Amouage bottles from the men's line. You have the name of the house, the Amouage seal. This is a magnetic cap. You can pick it up from the cap, but I wouldn't do that just in case. You have the name of the fragrance here, a little black jewel at the top, and then the Amouage crest there as well. The batch code is printed here on the bottom, nothing else on the bottom. The atomizer does a good enough job. It's the same as all the other watches, And the bottle is just black all the way around. You can see the juice level through this really easily, especially if you put a light behind it. That is the presentation for Amouage Memoir Man. If you like any of the Amouage presentations, then you'll like this one as well. So when I started collecting fragrances from this house years ago, this was actually one of the first ones that I wanted. But for whatever reason, I could just never match up my funds with this being on sale, and I just never got it until now. But when I was looking up the notes and everything and you know, reading reviews back when I first started getting into this house, this is the first one that really caught my attention. Now one thing to know about this is you need to be prepared like Scar from The Lion King. Be prepared! as soon as you spray this on because the initial blast hits you right in the face. The opening in this is green and very unique. It's wormwood, which is used in absinthe mixing with mint. And then you have this frankincense that Amage is known for sprinkled throughout the opening of the fragrance. It comes across a little dark and mysterious while at the same time being very green. It smells almost like burning forest leaves mixing with mint. As this dries down, the mint and the wormwood move into the background. The frankincense stays there throughout the entirety of the fragrance. You also get guyac wood, tobacco, and leather that start to come in, but nothing really makes itself known other than the incense. Everything's kind of blending together. So you might pick out a nuance of leather, a nuance of tobacco, but it's not really a strong, full-fledged tobacco note. It also has somewhat of a pencil shaving smell that you pick up on occasion in the dry down. It stays dark, it stays mysterious, and incense is the main player. The quality on this fragrance is very high, which is what you would expect from this house. This doesn't smell synthetic or cheap at all. It's definitely more a mature fragrance. It comes across sophisticated, classy, and again, more dark and mysterious than anything else. This is definitely one, though, that I would suggest that you sample before you purchase just to make sure that you're going to like it. If you're a big fan of Amouage, then I would say that you should like this, but nothing is for certain, and this is the type of fragrance that can be very polarizing. Longevity for me was very good. I'm talking 10 plus hours, and projection is good for the first couple hours, and then it starts to sit closer to the skin. This is not as strong as Interlude. It's more in line with something like Epic from the same house. And in terms of when you would wear this fragrance, for me, this is a fall and winter fragrance and it leans more toward a nighttime scent than it does a daytime scent. For me, I really, really like this fragrance. The opening is fantastic. The dry down is not quite as good as the opening, but it's still very well done. And for me, it just screams to be worn in cooler weather and nighttime uh, kind of formal or sophisticated gatherings. 
My wife is not 100% blown away by it. She did say that she liked it, just that she doesn't love it. And this is the type of fragrance that really is not made to try to be uh, a mass marketed people pleaser. And really most of the fragrances in this house aren't with the exception of a couple of fragrances. So just know that going in. If you understand what Amouage is all about, then you shouldn't really be surprised by the fragrance itself. So for me, this is something uh, that you have to wear with confidence. It's something that you have to be uh, fully assured in yourself and that you smell good and put that out there because this is the type of fragrance that if you wear it and you're not very confident in what you're wearing then you could potentially turn off everybody around you so just know that going in that if you wear this it's a commitment and you need to go into it with confidence all right guys that's my review on Amouage Memoir Man for me this slots in that upper echelon of Amouage fragrances it's a great nighttime scent, especially in colder weather, that's going to be classy and mysterious and set you apart from anything that anybody else is going to be wearing. Let me know what you think about this one. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.